Siberian Huskies are beautiful, independent, and intelligent, but difficult to train. They will challenge your leadership and test boundaries when they feel like their needs aren't met. They'll be destructive if not properly attended to. To avoid a painful experience with Siberian Husky dogs, it is essential to understand their temperament to train them correctly for all types of experiences and situations. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Now, let's go into this video to learn about the Huskies' training methods. Socialization Training Socializing is essential for all young dogs, for the more powerful breeds such as Siberian Huskies and smaller sized pups. The fear of complete strangers and family friends can make a pet dog feel agitated. So making your pet feel capable of socializing with strangers or families keeps that person from being aggressively close. Socialization primarily involves letting your Siberian Husky young puppy be around other family pets and individuals and learning to not fear them. Invite people ahead before you visit your residence and rest near the puppy. When your dog has been given the additional time to check that guests are not going to hurt him, you can let the introduction happen more slowly. Let the visitor wait until the pup is comfortable before picking them up. It's often scary for the recipient of a gift, especially if it's a pup, since they do not know they are safe while petting it. Take your new dog out on a walk with you and go to a location where other people and dogs exist. Some restaurants let you walk your dog on their patio or walkways or try visiting an indoor shopping mall. There are good places for dogs to socialize in dog parks and beaches where strangers can approach them without harm. As your new dog is around people and various other animals interacting socially, he or she will no longer be frightened of humans. If your puppy dog is not obeying you, an obedience course can give your new dog the skills they need to better socialize with human beings and other dogs. If your pup still has trouble with people and other dogs, see a veterinarian or canine behavior expert instead of continuing for longer with less effective training methods. Crate training. Most huskies are loud and talkative. Some may cower when you get in their crate and reach a new threshold of confinement. This is just their personality, and they'll be acceptable given the proper stimulation, even if it looks like an overwhelming sensory experience at first. If you're unfamiliar with crate training your pup, now is the time for you to learn. A crated dog will remind your pup of his bedroom, his bedroom during nap times, and a place he can feel safe when you you aren't at home. Over time, as your pooch becomes more accustomed to his crate, he will see the object as his personal haven. This will be his safe resting space when he's tired but needs a nap time during the daytime or even at night when it's bedtime. You can teach your dog boundaries by crate training him. You will teach him where he will be during certain times with his daily schedule such as when you're unavailable at home. Crate training is helpful at most ages and can begin sprouting from your pup's brain early on. Having a well-behaved husky is essential as they are somewhat challenging to train. You may need to start crate training the pup within a particular room in the house. When you know he's mature enough, you can move him around and make the crate a safe haven where you want him to be when he needs downtime or he's exhausted after being with humans too much. Eventually, your husky will end up going into his crate on his own when it feels like crashing and you need some space away from the outside. Crate training is easy to do when you are educated on how and why of it beforehand. Your husky will need a large crate with enough space to stand there is no need to get a separate crate for a young and old dog. Be sure your husky space is warm and comfortable when resting in the crate. For entertainment, keep him busy with new chew toys while you're away to remind him that he's safe and some permanent or temporary reward might also be a good idea so that he'll always know that being inside the crate is a reward. Potty training. 
It's not only easy to potty train the husky, but it has many benefits. You will no longer have to clean up your lovely new floors and do not have to be concerned about other pets or children coming into contact with harmful bacteria. In addition, you can take him to your friends' houses without worrying about him going on their carpets. Although potty training a husky is relatively straightforward, you must ensure all aspects of the routine are enjoyable. One of the main tasks is to get him accustomed to the routine and make it as pleasant as possible. Husky puppies are quick to learn new commands, so when working with your pup, you should see results in just a week or so. The training could take longer if your husky isn't too interested in following instructions. Although it may take several weeks before the consistent results come through, the result will be worth the wait if this training works. Not only that, but you won't have to worry about going out and buying antibacterial sprays every week anymore. Set aside time to take your dog to his new potty at a few points throughout the day. The more consistently you take him out, the sooner you will begin seeing results. Obedience training. Use the same tone of voice and the exact words when you're teaching your dog behavior. Adding food rewards and praising each new step will help reinforce the positive behaviors. With repetition, the puppy will associate specific keywords with actions. For example, when teaching your dog to use the potty outside, give him the same command each time. You can use phrases like, go pee, do your business, or hurry up as a catchphrase to praise him and make it easier for him to follow your commands. When you pair one or more of these words with a food reward, your dog will repeat them repeatedly. Dogs learn the most when doing so in real time. You must catch them in the act when training or disciplining a dog. They need to hear yes, no, or whatever you tell them to comprehend what they're doing wrong. You only have three to five seconds to get your point across before they don't understand it. Successful training for a new behavior depends on several essential principles, timing and consistency. Utilizing one word commands and repeating them only once is enough for the dog to learn about a specific control. If the command is come, then the user can just say come or come on. The dog will learn from this that come is a two or three word command. Don't correct your dog for what he did three to five seconds ago. This will confuse their memory and affect the relationship you have with him. Praise quickly and give a treat when the puppy does well or stops doing something wrong. Otherwise, the feedback may not be what the dog is looking for and could cause it to act out more. Be consistent and set boundaries to reinforce good behavior. You can't cuddle on the couch to watch TV one day then scold him for climbing the next day. Growling, bite training. A husky is a hunting dog, so they often snap at things when they get excited. This means the chances of them possibly hurting you or anyone else in your household is relatively high, especially during their first few months of life. Training your husky puppy to not bite is crucial to raising a well-behaved adult dog. At first, it can be difficult for young puppies to stop biting and nipping, but with consistent positive reinforcement, you should be able to improve your husky puppy's manners within a few weeks. When training your husky puppy, you must follow commands and reward consistently. When your dog bites or nips you, be sure to stop the behavior so he doesn't become a nuisance and don't allow him to nip or bite near anything that will do unintended damage. When your pup teeth are on your skin, use your verbal command and let him know you're ready to stop the game. Praise and reward him with a treat. When he first bites down, he may not have to release altogether after a few minutes of letting up. Start by practicing the command word with different people in your household in an encouraging fashion. As soon as he is convinced that the treatment will be given if he performs the command, he should start associating it with the release. After a couple of weeks of consistently practicing, it's advisable to start training your pet to wean off treats as a reward. You can replace them with praise and a toy 
so your pet learns that humans are not safe to bite on. When your dog is biting you, try applying gentle pressure to his muzzle. Dogs are more likely to release in response to these actions. This instinctual behavior is part of their biology. We hope these findings will help you to train your huskies. When researching a breed, it's helpful to understand that this dog requires a high commitment and dedication, so he is most likely not the ideal addition to your family. Thanks for staying connected with us. Consider subscribing if you haven't done it yet. And don't forget to like and share with the notification bell on.